Tamil cuisine is a cuisine native to the Tamil people who are native to the Indian state of Tamil Nadu and northern Sri Lanka. It is also the cuisine of the Tamil language, Tamil, speaking population of Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh in India and of the Tamil communities of Singapore and Malaysia. Tamil Nadu is famous for its deep belief that serving food to others is a service to humanity, as it is common in many regions of India. The region has a rich cuisine involving both traditional vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. Rice, legumes and lentils are used extensively and flavor is achieved by the blending of various spices. Vegetables and dairy products are essential accompaniments and tamarind is used as the favored souring agent. On special occasions, traditional Tamil dishes are prepared in an elaborate and leisurely way and served in traditional style on a banana leaf. The traditional way of eating a meal involves being seated on the floor, having the food served on a banana leaf, and using clean fingers of the right hand to transfer the food to the mouth. After the meal, the fingers are washed, and the banana leaf becomes food for cows. Typically breakfast includes idli or dosa and rice accompanied by sambar and rasam, followed by curd for lunch. Typical meals Sapadu, a typical meal, consists of rice with other typical Tamil dishes served on a banana leaf which gives different flavor and taste to the food, then a dessert, normally payasam, is usually served as a dessert to finish the meal. Coffee and tea are the staple drinks. Virandu, which means is feast, when guests are invited during happy ceremonial occasions to share food. For festivals and special ceremonies, a more elaborate menu with steamed rice, variety rice, e.g. tomato rice, dal, sambar, lentil stew, karakuzambu, spicy stew with a coconut base or dal base, rasam, tamarind stew with other herbs and spices, thayir, curd, along with poriyal, dry fry of vegetables, varaval, oil fry of the vegetables or meat, kutu, vegetables mixture with green dal or coconut, kirai masil, ground greens, avial, a mixture of cooked vegetables, finally added with buttermilk or curd in the preparation, pachati, salad of cucumber, or onion and curd, apalam fried papads, thavile, wet ground paste of some item, orakai pickles, payasm, sweet liquid of many varieties with milk base or coconut milk base or dal liquid base. After the completion of the feast, a banana and beetle leaves eaten with areca nuts and limestone paste are provided to aid digestion. Guests sit on a coir mat rolled out on the floor and a full course meal was served on a banana leaf. Nowadays, guests often sit at a dinner table and have the same type of food. Traditionally the banana leaf is laid so that the leaf tip is pointed left. Before the feast begins the leaf is sprinkled with water and cleaned by the diner himself even though the leaves are already clean. The top half of the banana leaf is reserved for accessories, the lower half for the rice. The lower right portion of the leaf may have a scoop of warm sweet milky rice payasam, kesari, sweet pongal or any dessert items. While the top left includes a pinch of salt, a dash of pickle and a thimbleful of salad, or a smidgen of chutney. In the middle of the leaf there may be an odd number of fried items like small circles of chips either banana, yam or potato, thin crisp pawpods or frilly wafers aruna apalams and vadai. The top right hand corner is reserved for spicy foods including curry, hot, sweet, or sour and the dry items. Dishes Rice is the major staple food of most of the Tamil people. Normally lunch or dinner is a meal of steamed rice, choru, served with accompanying items, which typically include sambar, poriyal, curry, rasam, kutu and curd. Breakfast dishes Main dishes Idli, steamed rice cakes, prepared from a fermented batter of rice and black gram. Usually served alongside different kinds of chutney, sambar or vatakuri. Dose, crepes made from a fermented batter of rice and black gram eaten with sambar or chutney. Several varieties like sada dose, kal dose, matai dose, nir dose, rava dose, pasi parapu dose, etc. are available. Badai, commonly of two types, based on the ingredients used and served along with idlis. Pongal, a traditional cuisine where rice is cooked in a mud pot along with water and milk until the boiling liquid forms viscous frothy bubbles that rise above the pot. 
The soft, creamy upper layer overflows the pot, which is also called a pongal. Paniaram, the batter similar to the one used to make dosa is poured into pan with small pits to make paniaram. Appam, is made from a fermented batter of rice and black gram mixture, which is made into a thin consistency. It is poured over a hot pan and spread evenly by rotating the pan. The appam generally has its sides thin and the center is fluffy and soft. Uthapam, a dosa variety, which is slightly thick, fluffy, and soft. It can be made from regular idli dosa batter. Plain uthapam is available, along with a type of uthapam with vegetables or onions sprinkled over. Upma, made from wheat or rava, added with onion, green chilies. May also be substituted with broken rice granules, flattened rice flakes, or almost any other cereal grain instead of broken wheat. Puttu, steamed layered, cylindrical cakes made with flour, usually rice flour is used but any miller flour can be used. The flour is sparsely mixed with water and packed into puttu cylinder and steamed. The flour is usually layered with grated coconut. Kajukatai, steamed dumplings made with rice flour. The fillings are varied, from grated coconut and jaggery to various savory preparations. Savai or idiopam, rice noodles made out of steamed rice cakes. Adai, with all the vegetables, it is a complete and quite filling meal. It is loaded with fiber and calcium. It's a perfect recipe for people on diet and for diabetic patients. Side dishes Sambar, is a lentil-based vegetable stew or chowder cooked with a tamarind broth and freshly grounded spices. Vada curry, a classic Chetanad side dish which is also very famous in Chennai. Thogayal, which is a wet ground paste of many ingredients but primarily with the punch of the main ingredient. Most common thogayals by their chief ingredient are like coconut, harapu, dal, coriander, puthina, mint leaves, caravepilai, curry leaves, elu, sesame seeds, kalu, horse gram, inji, ginger, kundu, garlic, etc. Kutu, a stew of vegetables or greens, usually made with lentils, and spices which makes for a side dish for a meal consisting of rice, sambar and rasam. Avayal, a stew of vegetables with fresh coconut, and coconut oil which makes for a side dish for a meal consisting of rice, sambar, rasam and equally for dishes like adai and those. In hotels it is an evening specialty food and advertised as adai avial. Drinks. Coffee is the most popular beverage. Coffee is a major social institution in southern Indian Tamil tradition and generally use gourmet coffee beans of the premium pea berry or the less expensive Arabica variety. The making of filter coffee is like a ritual, as the coffee beans are first roasted and then powdered. Sometimes chicory is added to enhance the aroma. A filter set is used and few scoops of powdered coffee with boiling water is used to prepare a dark liquid called the decoction. Hot milk with sugar and a small quantity of decoction is then served in a tumbler set, a unique coffee cup. Another popular beverage is strongly brewed tea. Kuz porridge, also called kanji, rice kanji. Netko, pink soft drink. Sharbat, drink made from fruits or flower petals. Lunch and dinner dishes. Main dishes. Arisi parapu, rice cooked with dal. Rice. Thakali satham, tomato rice. Karubapilai satham. Thayir satham. Kathamali pudina satham. Manga satham. Alumachai satham, lemon rice, seasoning of onions, tomatoes, curry leaf, red chili, salt and lemon juice is made and cooked rice is added and fried with the seasoning. Some ground nuts and added to the dish to give it some crunchiness and balance out the sour taste of lemon and served with chutney or vegetable salad. Puliodurai, is a popular Tamil dish which is a mixture of fried tamarind paste and cooked rice. 
The tamarind paste is fried with sesame oil, asofetida and fenugreek powder, dried chili, ground nuts, split chickpea, urad dal, mustard seeds, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, curry leaves, turmeric powder and seasoned with light jaggery and salt. Biryani, a type of fried rice with masala cooked with vegetables or meat. Special varieties include amber biryani, served with dalha. A sour brinjal curry and dindigul biryani, which uses a little curd and lemon juice to get a tangy taste. Side dishes Kulembu, a form of sambar, which is specifically prepared for lunch, is a gravy preparation with a base of tamarind, tor dal and urad dal. Mean kozambu, a fish curry made with whole of chilies and tamarind that makes it hot and sour. Rasam, lentil soup with pepper, coriander and cumin seeds. Kutu, a stew of vegetables or greens, usually made with lentils, and spices which makes for a side dish for a meal consisting of rice, sambar and rasam. Avial, a stew of vegetables with fresh coconut, and coconut oil. Matikos poriol, a simple vegetarian side with stir-fried cabbage, mustard seeds, some roasted lentils and fresh coconut. Sweet dishes Adhirasam Parapu payasam Pazam paniaram Pongal Arisi thenge payasam, is made with rice, coconut and jaggery. Traditional snacks Maruka Sidai Baji Pori Mixture or Mitcher Sevu Pakoda Thatu Vadai Setu Kajakata Regional cuisine Over a period of time, each geographical area where Tamils have lived has developed its own distinct variant of the common dishes in addition to dishes native to itself. The four divisions of ancient Tamilicum are the primary means of dividing Tamil cuisine. Chetanad region comprising Karakudi and adjoining areas is known for both traditional vegetarian dishes like idiapam, uthapam, paniaram and non-vegetarian dishes. Nanjilnadu cuisine comes from Nanjilnadu region which forms the southernmost part of Tamil Nadu. Kangunadu cuisine of Kangunadu region has specialties like santhakai, sandavai, a noodle-like item of rice, opatu, a sweet-tasting pizza-like dish that is dry outside with a sweet stuffing, kola arundai, meatballs, thenge pal, sweet hot milk made of jaggery, coconut and cotton seeds, alundu kali, sweet made out of jaggery, gingerly oil and black gram, kachiyam, sweet made out of jaggery and rice, arisam parupu sadam, ragi putumabu, arisi putumabu, kambu paniaram, ragi pakoda, thenge bar Barbie, Kadalai Arundai, Elu Arundai and Pori Arundai, the region is known for non-vegetarian food made of mutton, chicken and fish. Parota made with maida are all-purpose flour, and loosely similar to the North Indian wheat flour-based paratha. Madurai region has its own unique foods such as matai parata, minced parota and scrambled egg, parathapal made of cottonseeds, karadose, dose with mutton stuffing, and jigarthanda. Tamil culinary terms in English The word curry is an anglicization of the Tamil word curry. The Tamil phrase milagu thanir meaning pepper soup, literally pepper water, has been adapted in English as mulagatani. The word kanji derives from the Tamil word kanji. Notes See also Tamil Nadu Tamil Cuisine of India References DeWitt, Dave and Nancy Gerlach, 1990. The Whole Chili Pepper Book. Boston, Little Brown & Co. Boston.com, A New Year's Feast from Tamil Nadu. Further reading
Amal, Meenakshi, S., The Best of Samethu Par, The Classic Guide to Tamil Cuisine, Penguin Books India Thangam E. Philip